So I wanna, uh, I, I wanna uh, allow you guys to see, <coughs> to see what is happening here. Um, I'm, I'm watching this fiasco that Daniel's trying to do online. Here's the difference. You see, when you become, when you become what the Bible is teaching, not that you just can Bible thump it, but when you become what the Bible is teaching, the words of Jesus become so natural. This is why what I say is in the Bible. You don't have to read from PowerPoint presentations. And this is what I was speaking about. There are spiritual powers there, but there has been no transformation. And um, his arrogant, ignorant self looked in the camera and said, there's just something not right there. Some people act like they love Jesus, but there's just something not right there. It's okay, the Holy Spirit will tell me. Well, if there was something not right here, uh, the Holy Spirit would have told him already, wouldn't it? This guy is a massive, massive ego trip. And the thing that bothers me the most, with, with, uh, with uh, always with violence, this is these Pharisees, and this is what Jesus considered violence. Why he told the people around him to listen when the Pharisees spoke because they studied the Bible, but don't ever follow in their footsteps because they never lived by the Bible. And this is what these people are doing. It's really nausea producing to hear this guy talk about having the love of the Holy Spirit and how it grows. And yet he looked in the camera just two seconds before saying, you know, some people act like they love Jesus, but you know, something just ain't right. Jesus had never even said those words about people who he knew were lost and following the occult. Jesus never said those words. And here this guy is saying that he is anointed. This is all a Las Vegas show. Um, like I said, it, it is making Jesus appear to be a part of a three ring circus and uh, these people ought to be ashamed of themselves. I will never understand how anybody, how anybody can endorse what they're doing and the violence that they are putting out on the internet as normal behavior for a man of God. It is repulsive. It is repulsive. And, uh, if what he's calling the Holy Spirit hasn't said anything about me yet, guess what? There ain't nothing to say about me. This guy needs a lobotomy. He's so stupid. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really fed up with all of this. Uh, a year now this is going on. I'm fed up with all of it. The, the, the egregiousness of everything out here is that it's always this way with these narcs because this violence does not need to happen. This violence is only what they get a kick out of, what they get a kick out of. Because if you truly had Jesus in your heart and you truly had love in your heart, attacking somebody is the last thing you want to do. None of this violence needs to happen. This internet is big enough for everybody out here. And here is this fake out here, has to read from PowerPoint presentations because he hasn't become anything. He hasn't become anything. And yet he sits in the judgment seat with his buddy Isaiah, who says that Jesus won't use me. As I said, they have kicked God off the throne and put themselves there. This should let you people know who these people are. Wake up, you guys. You know, we really are in the end times. There really is no time to waste. You guys really need to wake up and stop this nonsense. 
You guys have a blessed night.